What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Competitive Decks, our series where we talk about how to use every Pokemon returning and new in the Crown Tundra DLC competitively in 6v6 singles. Now, we will also talk about it in VGC if you would like to discuss that with me down in the comments below, but for the video purposes, we do cover 6v6 singles. Now, earlier today we talked about Galarian Moltres and how strong that thing is, and now we're going to talk about Galarian Articuno and how strong this can be, and it's got some pretty interesting techs on it. So if you're excited about that, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new or if you just haven't already and you have been around for a little bit, have been watching some of the videos and haven't subscribed yet, now would be an absolutely amazing time. We're trying to get to 200 subs by the end of the year. We are a new channel, so it is very helpful. All of your support is greatly appreciated. So thank you all so much for watching and of course share this video with everybody And there's a big video that I put out yesterday that you should also share and it is my stop before you uh, before you use the ability patch video that video is very important for anybody who is transferring Pokemon and there's a glitch in the game that could cause you to not be able to use some of your Pokemon in competitive. So you really need to watch that video and share it with anyone you know who plays the game or has Pokemon that you're transferring from old games, anything like that, it is very, very important. So make sure you watch it, make sure you share that video. And then of course, you know, subscribe so you don't miss any of my later videos. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. We've got Galarian Articuno and I know I normally have four sets on here. I've only got three today because honestly Articuno's pretty straightforward, a little more straightforward than the others, mainly because it's not as bulky as the other, so it doesn't have really that bulky option for it. Um, so you really have to go with a more offensive variant with it, which isn't too bad because it gets access to Calm Mind, and that's what we're gonna talk about first. So we've got the Psychic Flying typing, which is pretty cool. We've got things like Zatu that share that typing, things like Sigalith. Those are typically more defensive mons, and so now that we're running a more offensive variant, it's, it's pretty good. Psychic Flying is not a bad offensive typing or defensive typing. It's pretty neutral. Um, so it works It works both ways. So Calm Mind to help boost up your already at least okay special defense at base 100 with the 90 base HP. We're running max HP to help with that bulk on both sides. And we're running a Key Berry on this as well. What a Key Berry does is every time you're hit with, not every time, the first time, you're hit with a physical move you get to eat that berry and raise your defense stat, which is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Then we also have the competitive ability, which is really cool on this. Every time a stat is lowered, you get your special attack raised by two stages, which can make this thing very dangerous. And it's why we don't really have to put all that much into the special attack, especially since we are also going to be raising it with Calm Mind. So Calm Mind here with the stored power is gonna be really cool. You're boosting up not only your defenses, but also your offenses, and it's gonna be getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and stored power gets stronger the more boosts you have. So that's why we're also running the key berry on this so you get hit with a physical move somebody trying to take advantage of you running a calm mind set and you take that hit get even bulkier you can recover off you take less the next time it's a pretty cool set i really like this set honestly i think it's got some viability to it you also could run it with a seed of one of the different uh, you could run it with a Tapu, with one of the different kinds of terrain, or manual terrain, or something that, like uh, Indeedee, if you wanted to run that with Psychic Terrain, anything like that. If you ran it with an Indeedee with Psychic Terrain, you could also run Expanding Force. This thing does get Expanding Force, which is a very, very strong move, and it would be stronger than Stored Power a lot earlier than when Stored Power gets up to that power. So if you're running it on a Psychic Terrain team, then I would definitely recommend running Expanding Force over Stored Power. It's gonna be way more consistent and you don't have to get nearly as much setup to be doing a lot of damage. And then we've got Air Slash as the last move as just a way of hitting other things, just more coverage. It allows you to do quite a bit of damage to things like Ferrothorn, which normally would take no damage from something like this. You can actually two hit KO this thing at plus one, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's pretty nice mod and you actually have a chance of Okoing it at plus two, which is, kind of insane to me. Um, 
Next is going to be our specs set, and this makes use of its signature move, Freezing Glare. Now I know that on our Zapdos video we didn't use the Thunderous Kick, which is its signature move, and then we used uh, we used the Fiery Wrath on every set pretty much of Moltres. Now we're using Freezing Glare on not all of them, but some of them, because it has the same base power as Psychic, but it has a 10% chance to freeze rather than the 10% chance of the special defense drop. I like the freeze chance. Freeze is kind of busted. Honestly, uh, I think freeze is one of the worst kinds of things in the game, to be honest with you. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you because freeze, you could be frozen forever and, and that's really, really bad, but you also could be frozen none at all. It's just complete luck and there's no like maximum freeze turns. You could literally be frozen forever. And then we've got air slash on it for the coverage. And then we're running Psy Shock on this because we really don't get all that great of coverage. And we're running Psy Shock to be able to hit things like Blissey that would want to come in on this that are more on the special defensive side. This allows you to hit them on the physical side, gives you a little bit more of a little bit more of an edge there on those. And then you've got U-turn as well for momentum for anything that would want to come in on this. That allows you to pivot out and get into something else. U-turn is an amazing move. I know that we've said that a million times before. I know that's not, you know, any new facts, but anything that gets U-turn you probably should at least consider it unless you're going with something like Calm Mind where you're meant to sit there for forever. If you're gonna be more of an offensive variant, then I feel like U-Turn is a must here. And then finally, I wanna talk about this. We've got heavy duty boots on this set right here. And heavy duty boots, I feel like are kind of great on this mod, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously right here, we're running almost the same set. But here with boots, I, I think it's really, really nice to be able to come in on rocks and not have to take a quarter damage. Obviously, regular Articuno will appreciate the boots a lot more just because of that ice flying typing. It doesn't want to take half from that. So now it only takes a quarter, but with the boots, you take zero. Obviously, be careful about being weak to knock off. That's a thing, and people will want to knock these off. But it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty cool option either way. I like this, I think this set works out. Of course, we took off Freezing Glare. We took off Stored Power, rather, for Freezing Glare, and so that allows you to just hit really, really hard right off the bat, and you have a chance to freeze. It's not something that you can really rely on, but there's a chance, and it's a pretty cool set. So yeah, that is it for Frozone. I mean, uh, Galarian Articuno. So let me know what you think about these sets down in the comments below. If you have any sets of your own that you think should have been in that fourth slot, let me know. And let me know what you think about the glitch from yesterday, because uh, because that's, that's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Anyway, guys, tomorrow we will begin on the Reggies. So we'll have two days of Reggies, and then we'll just have to see from there. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you later. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.